The northern part of the state of Minas Gerais in Brazil is covered with tropical dry forests. They're less famous than Brazil's rainforest, but they have a beauty of their own, says forest researcher Mario Santo. If you go there right now, you're going to have um, leaves, flowers, everything is green. It looks like um, a, a tropical wet forest, but if you, if you go there, uh, at least in, in our region, in May, uh, it is starting to get dry and everything is going to be orange and brown. By June, you don't have any leaves, so everything is gray and it is indeed beautiful. It's also important ecologically and socially. But recently, the fate of these forests was threatened. A new law in Minas Gerais would have allowed up to 70% of the forest to be cut down. The farmers were happy. They wanted more land for cattle ranching. But poor communities near the forest were not, says researcher Arturo Sanchez. Now, when you look at the history of, of the conservation and, and the human settlement of these forests, these people had been living off the land for hundreds of years. And uh, therefore, there is a lot of dependency on sustainability, extraction of uh, fruits from the forest, firewood, fishing, hunting. So when you promote that such high level of uh, a land cover change as the law tried to do, from a social point of view, it was, it was a social disaster. It was an ecological disaster too. Many species would have suffered and weather and water production in the area would have been altered. To prove this, Santo, Sanchez, and a group of other researchers presented years of data on the forest. They used remote sensors, ground observations, and satellite data. Uh, with the wireless sensing technology, which is a, a very interesting technology, non-intrusive sensors, uh, the size of a credit card, and uh, that can be deployed, the hundreds of them, and allow us to measure the conditions of uh, the micrometeorological properties of those ecosystems. Their research clearly showed the tropical dry forest fit in the category of federally protected forest. Therefore, in late January 2011, the new law was declared unconstitutional and the forest reprotected. It was quite a victory for science. Seeing this scientific information being translated into policies, environmental policies, was, uh, it, it was fantastic. The farmers are already organizing themselves to take the fight to the federal level, Santo says, but the scientific and social case will continue to be made for the forest. It's an enduring fight. We have to keep fighting. It's, it's not over. It's, it, it was just a battle. <laughs> for the National Science Foundation, I'm Cheryl Divis.